Hello Creative Gems, welcome to Creativity. Today we are going to make two large mirror trays. Both are going to be very unique and one of a kind that you will want to replicate for your home. The star of today's tutorial will be 12 inch round mirrors that I found at Bins. For those of you not familiar with Bins, it is a retail outlet that sells Amazon overstock and returned items at severely discounted prices. For a set of 12 mirrors, I only paid $6 and these are of excellent quality. They came packaged in a box encased in foam inside. For our first tray, we will be using this 12 inch round wood panel from Dollar Tree. This panel comes as a blank slate ready to be embellished. And for embellishments, we will be using a few of these clear crystal doorknobs. I'll show you later how I use them. We will also be using these silver bangles and these silver napkin rings, some small silver Christmas ornament balls, these beautiful clear diamond shaped acrylic gems, and some string of silver beaded necklace. All these embellishments were purchased from the dollar store. For our first tray, we will start by applying a generous amount of fix-all to one side of the wood panel. If you don't have any fix-all, you can also use E6000 or any strong bonding material of your choice. I'm also adding some hot glue so the drying time is cut short when I adhere the mirror to this panel. Once the mirror and the wood panel are adhered together, we are going to place some legs on the other side of the wood panel. For the legs, I have chosen to use three clear crystal doorknobs I found on Amazon. Each came to about a dollar a piece. But if you don't have any on hand, simply use three silver napkin rings instead. The ones I showed you guys earlier came six in a pack from the Dollar Tree. And while we work on that, I would like to take a moment to thank you for tuning in to today's craft project. And if you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on a budget, it would be really, really helpful for me if you would support my channel by hitting the subscribe button and giving me a thumbs up. And here you can also see that I have laid out some of those silver bangles. This is just so I know approximately how many bangles I will need. All we're going to do here is we're going to use a bit of hot glue to adhere each bangle around the edge of the mirror in an upright position. Once we're done with the bangles, I notice that the edge between where the mirror and the wood panel is exposed. To clean that up, I'm adhering some silver car trim all around the edge so that we can no longer see the edge or the seam between the mirror and the wood panel. I think this gives the mirror tray a much more polished look. And for those of you interested in crafting with the silver car trim, I will leave a link below to my Amazon store where you can purchase a set for yourself. This car trim has come in handy in many of my craft projects, including using them as a frame for other mirrors I have made as well. I have also used this car trim to make a keepsake box where I used it as a border for the lid of the keepsake box. As you can see, the car trim is very flexible and can be cut to size. It actually comes with an adhesive backing, but for additional security, I often like to add a bit of hot glue to the back as well.
some silver beaded necklace to create a border all around the mirror tray. This, I think, gives the mirror tray a more upscale look. Then I go in again, and this time I adhere a diamond shaped acrylic gem inside the bottom center of each silver bangle. This step is optional, but if you know me, the more bling the better. And if this is the first time you are tuning in, well, you will soon find out through my other projects that I absolutely love to bling it out. Here is the final look for our first tray. It looks absolutely beautiful, even on its own, just sitting on a side table or countertop. It also looks just as gorgeous with a set of candles or any of your favorite trinkets. For our second tray, we are going to take large charger plates, two of them. These are available at the dollar store in a variety of colors, but for this tray, it won't matter what color you choose to use because we are actually going to adhere both together so only the bottom of the charger plates are exposed. To adhere the two plates together, I'm applying some Fix-All all along the edge of one of the plates. Then, to ensure a quick hold, I'm also going to add some hot glue. Once the two plates are adhered together, we're going to cover the seam with a string of silver beaded necklace, the same ones we used earlier for our first tray. Then we are going to add some legs to the bottom of one of the charger plates. This time we are going to use three silver napkin rings, and these legs will then give the mirror tray some height. Next, apply some fix-all to the bottom of the other plate. 
making sure that the fix-all is applied to the protruding edge of the plate where the mirror will be adhered to. Now you can see that there is a gap between the edge of the mirror and the edge of the plate. We are going to cover all that up with the silver Christmas ornament balls. For this step, a little bit of hot glue applied to each ball will do the trick. Next, we are going to apply some clear tacky glue to the edge of the mirror. This glue has a gel-like texture and will dry clear. Once the glue is applied, apply a string of silver beaded necklace to frame the mirror. And here's the final look for our second mirror tray. This one could also be hung on the wall if you prefer. Simply use a command strip and you're set. Comment down below and let me know which piece you like the best. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and share with other creative gems. Also, hit the notification bell and be sure to check out my previous project where I made a couple of extra large mirrors using dollar store materials and the same silver card trim we used earlier for these trays.